Hey, what's up, y'all? So I got news that Adrian Peterson just signed a deal, a one-year deal with the Skins. Um, he can be cut just like Skandra got cut before the year starts. Um, I doubt he gets. I doubt he gets cut, but um, Rob Kelly, when he comes back from injury, I still, I still think Rob Kelly's really the number one guy. Uh, in my opinion, I just think Adrian Adrian Peterson is washed up. I just don't, I don't, I don't want to say washed up, but I just he's just not the same guy. He's not the same productive guy like the all pro, the Pro Bowl guy that he was in 2015. You know, somebody in my last videos was like, oh yeah, you know he made the Pro Bowl, it was all pro in 2015 or something like that. You know, which is cool, but he had the injury in 2016, barely played. Then last year he had the fallout with the Saints with with uh, Sean Payton. Um, came off the bench, didn't get any carries. Then he went to the Cardinals, averaged, what, 3.7 yards per carry? Come on, young. Know, that's that's not good. That's not productive. And he's 32, what, 32, 33 years old? That's a very old. That's like that's like in, that's like being 36 in the NBA. That's like being 36, 37. 33 at the running back position. That's like being 37 in the NBA. Like That's like Kobe with the – Kobe in his last years, like his last runs with the Achilles and stuff like that. Like, and Adrian Peterson, he had, didn't he have like an Achilles injury or something like that? He came back from that. He had like some crazy injury, like an ACL. I, I can't remember. Correct me if I'm, y'all tell me what it was. I can't remember what it was, but he's come back from that injury. And um, I just feel like I, I'm happy we didn't sign Jamal Charles. That wouldn't have been a good pickup. And uh, Orleans Dakwar or whatever, however you pronounce the name, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed we didn't sign him. If we were going to sign one of the three guys, I'm disappointed that we didn't sign him out of the three guys that tried out. But if Rob Kelly comes back healthy, Rob Kelly's still my number one guy. And, yes, I understand he's not the best and all. He's not the big name. He's not the doesn't have the flashy speed, doesn't have the flashy strength. There's not one thing that Rob Kelly does is, like, flashy. He... Our running back core is probably the fourth best in the NFC East right now. It was going to be, with Geis healthy, it was going to be arguably second to first. It was going to be better than Zeke. Zeke is probably first, but I'll do that in another, in another video. Our running backs in the, in the NFC East is probably Zeke and then Saquon Barkley. We haven't seen him play yet. It's going to be between Saquon and Darius. Both of those guys are pretty equal to me. I think Geis can be better than Saquon, in my opinion. I'm not being biased. A healthy Geis. Could have been better than Saquon, in my opinion. And then um, probably Jay Ajayi, he's, a home, he's more of a home run hitter. He's really good, though. He's pretty darn good, though. I'll give it up to him. But since the Eagles lost Blount, they get Sproles back. But Sproles is – Chris Thompson is basically just as good or better than Darren Sproles. But back to Arian, Adrian Peterson, I don't – I just don't see him being our number one guy. I just don't see it happening, man. If it does, I really hope the best. We have a good offensive line of Trent Williams. We have a good offensive line with Ty and – Ty Yansink is a backup. He's still pretty darn good. Morgan Moses is pretty darn good. Pro bowler. Brandon Scherf, pro bowler. Um, Sean Laval, the centers are decent. Like, Scherf, Mo Moses, and Trent Williams, those three guys right there are really, really good. That's really good players. That's all pro and Trent Williams. And like I said, a pro bowler and Brandon Scherf and Morgan Moses is huge. Um, so our offensive line is, is very formidable. They're pretty darn good offensive line. So Adrian Peterson should be successful. He's just old. That's all. He's just older. He's just... Broken down. His longest run last year was 27 yards. Like I said, three yards per carry. He's very. He was very inconsistent. He had a bad year last year. It was pretty bad. Let's not be. Let's not lie. Let's not act like this is the age of Peterson of, of old. This is 2018. Let's be real. So, I, I'm just not the huge. I'm not a huge fan of the, the signing. You know, I'm really not to be honest with you. Like I said, I like Adrian Peterson. I think he's a good, good um, player. He had a hell of a heck of a career, man. Almost in the same boat as Carmelo Anthony in a sense here, but, um, you know, I, I'm just not a fan of it, really. I mean, I, I hope it works out, though. I wish him the best. I, I think he can be successful. There's some flashes here and there with the offensive line being that good. Um, and then Chris Thompson in the back, but we have very um, good options here with Crowder and Richardson and and um, and, and maybe Dawson if he, if he can grow up and catch the football this year, then we should be a very, very good offense. Vernon Davis, Jordan Reed, if they're healthy, we should have a hell of a – we should have a heck of an offense. So um, my grade to the to the signing is really a C minus in my opinion. That's just me. So, um, but RHL piece, I really hope this works. RHL piece.